In this video, we're going to take the analysis steps that we have learned, um, the five steps to analyze a, a finite state machine, and we're going to apply it to this uh, circuit that is built using the flip-flop. So as we move through this, the first step in the process is to assign state variable. Since we have three flip-flops, and each flip-flop has one output, then we have to have at least three state variables to keep track of them. So we can name them y0, y1, and y2. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is make sure that we have labeled the flip-flop to match the state. So this we're going to call d0, d1, q1, d2, q2. Okay. And so uh, by the way, in, in this schematic, the clock is shown. In a lot of um, circuits, we don't show the clock, and it's in, somewhere in the nodes or it's as part of the component ID block. They mention that clock is connected to the system clock. Um, so here we have already we've completed step one, and we have our three state variable defined. The next step is to write the excitation equation for each of the flip-flop. In this case, we have um, three flip-flops, and they each each D flip-flop has one excitation input, and the excitation input would be the equations that determined D1, I'm sorry, D0, D1, and D2. Simply trace the schematic to find out where they go. For example, D0, as you can see, is Y0, exclusive ORD with 1. So Y0, exclusive ORD with 1. And we can simply say that's Y0 not. And then D1 is, again, another exclusive ORD. And D1 is look like it's Y0, exclusive ORD with Y1. So Y0 exclusive or y1 that's as simple as it gets let's go ahead and clean this up okay exclusive or with y1 and then d2 it's a little more involved it looks like it is y0 ended with y1 y0 ended with y1 together that is exclusive or with y2 and and y2 perfect so now um, we're pretty much done except it also in this part step two we also need to, to write the external output we have three external output z0 z1 and z2 and z0 is simply y0 y1 and y2 okay and now if somebody asks us what type of a machine it is, we look at this thing which says all the outputs only depends on the current state and no, none of them depend on the external input. There is hardly any. Actually, this one doesn't have an external input. Therefore, this is a more type, oops, type output, which makes the whole system a more FS uh, more type machine. Okay. Now we get into step number three, and step number three basically says go ahead and take these values. So now we are in step three. Take these values and put them into the um, the um, characteristic equation for D flip flop, and the characteristic equation for D flip flop is simply y plus is equal to d, which simply means that y0 plus is equal to y0 not. y1 plus is equal to y0 exclusive or with y1. And then y2 plus is equal to y0 and y1. The whole thing exclusive word with y2 okay now we got everything then now finally we are to step four 
step four says to obtain the present state next state that's the one we focus on there's other things you could do but we're going to focus on present state next state here so step four is to do the present state next state and as uh, so present state next state okay so we're going to go over here and on the left side we've got we have no external input so that no external input so nothing to put in here but we do have present state and present state oops let's go ahead and clean this up present state is y1 y0 that's the present state so since there is no input and we have actually three present state y0 y1 and y2 so we just write 0 0 write all the binary possibilities And then next states. And outputs, although output Z2, Z1, and Z0, same as Y2, Y1, Y0. So no point in repeating it. Um, so, but we have to find Y0, Y2, and Y1. Let's go ahead and take a look at Y2. Y2 is going to be Y0, Y1, and it exclusive or with Y2. So we see that is 0 here, and Y1 and Y2 is 0. So now uh, we've got y2 all figured out here. The next thing would be to go ahead and write y1, and we're going to use this equation to write it as y0, y1 exclusively, or anytime y0 and y1 are different, we get a 1 in here. Okay, and uh, y0 is just not of y1, so it's going to be 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So now we are done with present state. Next state, we are at the final step of this process, which is use present state next state table to create the state diagram. And let's see if you can figure out what this thing does. Remember now, when you do a state diagram, the first thing you got to do is you got to do the legend for the state diagram so now we are doing step five which is the final step and we're going to do the state diagram okay so the state diagram what we're going to do is we're going to do the states are represented by y2 y1 y0 all the outputs are more so all the outputs go in here we really don't have any input other than clock so anytime the clock comes in we go to the next step so now let's go ahead and do the state diagram we have three variable therefore we're going to have seven uh, eight different state two to the power of three so state zero 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 output is zero 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 and then we have state oops i should make the circles bigger we have state zero zero one the outputs are zero zero one because they're the same and then we got zero one zero of states one zero zero one one zero one one <coughs> oops no error we'll see it one zero zero one zero zero 
one one oops one zero one one zero one next state is one one zero and finally one 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 so those are all the states we have zero one two three four five six seven now we're going to go rely on this table to see where we go if you're in state zero the next clock you go to one if you're in one next clock goes to two if you're in two next clock takes to three on and on and you notice when you're in state seven you get another clock you go back in here so this is as you can see it counts one two three four five six seven and back to zero so we can this if you want to name it that was very easy to see what function it performed but the state diagram usually is complete enough and descriptive enough that people can take a look at it and say if you're in this state and you get an input where you go but this one is such a clear cut situation we have a name for it this is a three bit up count up basically up binary counter so we were able to walk through the five steps of analysis and figure out what this circuit does